So yes, my husband and I went to Disneyland without our baby girl and we had a really fun time and I hope you enjoy. And stick around to the end for a little bit of bonus. So this is us coming back to the park after taking a quick break at our hotel room. We had lightning lane passes for Big Thunder Railroad. We sat in the very back this ride. So that means scientifically we're being whipped around like crazy. You could definitely hear it in my voice how much uh, G's we were getting. Then for dinner, we got uh, some meals, uh, specifically fried chicken from Plaza Inn on Main Street. The best fried chicken you can get anywhere. I have to get it every single time we go to Disneyland. So world's tiniest little word right now. And after a quick walk through the castle, we are heading to Galaxy's Edge to ride Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run, which we also have lightning lane for. Oh, I love how the little details, the little, that thing lights up too. It doesn't need to, but it does. Oh, yes. Pilots, guys. We never get pilots. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We always get stuck in the back and to be engineers. Oh my gosh, we got so dark. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so so excited. Because Christian and I are just the two of us, we never ever get pilot. We always get stuck with a bigger group and so that's why we always get engineer, which is like in the back. So that's why we're super, super excited about this because we finally get to pilot. Ah, ah the footage is so, so blurry, but this is Christian and I's point of view. I am working the left to right controls and Christian is working the up and down controls, which are harder because it is reverse. But you can still see exactly what we're doing and and we got a really good score, so th there's that.
just as I promised, my friend. Now that the resistance has was ending, maybe a bit something from Hondo. Pilots, line up behind the train so we can harpoon that last car. Pilots, shoot the train. Yes, he passing those controls. Think. <laughs> doing some evening shopping we got back on big thunder and timed it perfectly so that we we're able to see the fireworks while we're on the ride it is something truly different and magical just riding big thunder railroad while the fireworks are happening it is so so cool That's just how we finished off the day. And then we went to day two where we finally were able to ride Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. We had waited all day yesterday to get a chance to ride it. And we finally did this day. So this is our point of view. Very first time riding it. And it was so, so fun. And then we have what Nana Renee drinks <laughs> or, or uses. <laughs> drinks. <laughs> riding Runaway Railway, we were able to ride Rides of Resistance, which is my husband and I's favorite ride ever. It has a very special place in our hearts because we rode it for the first time together all the way back before we were even married. So yeah, this one also did break down at one point, but we were able to finally ride it. I didn't get much footage from this ride because the people in our little seat were a little obnoxious, so I didn't want to put you guys through that crazy audio. You definitely tell it was their first time riding it and they were just going absolutely Crazy, just just feral. Also, Chris and I scored over a million at Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blasters, and this is our proof. And I'm so glad I took this clip because we tried getting our score sent to us in this little photo thing that they do, and they lost my score. It was shown as completely zero, which I know that was not true. So we'll never know who actually got the better score. But hey, at least Christian got rank 13 of the day. So that's, that's pretty cool to me. I think I'll take 
that. And of course for dinner, we got Carnation Cafe on Main Street. And a huge staple is they have to get the fried pickles. They are so, so amazing. And when they brought them out, they were just too hot. So Christian used our handy dandy little fan to try to cool them down. And one of our little traditions that we like to do whenever we are closing out the last day of a Disney trip is to hear the midnight spiel the park is closing and it's telling everybody to leave and so this is a sort of like us saying goodbye to the park is us hearing this little spiel your attention please disneyland has now ended its normal operating day thank you again for being our guests during the 100 year anniversary of the walt disney Company and will be a special part of the magic we share yesterday, today, and always. We hope that the memories you've made will bring you back again soon. Until then, good night, and we wish you a safe and pleasant journey home. So yeah, we're back home now, and what I wanted to show you guys was the merch that we ended up buying. There is, it's no secret that I have like a very extensive uh, ear collection. I probably have the most um, mini Mickey ears out of like anyone that I own. I keep a little collection in our bedroom, and so uh, I usually buy at least one set of ears every Disney trip that I take, and this year was very unique because I ended up buying two. Yes, it's true. As soon as I got got there we went shopping at downtown disney i saw these churro ears they're literally like sugar coated like as well with like the little texture covered with the chocolate with this like real pretty white sparkly bow i had seen these online like a couple weeks ago and i was about to buy them from the shop disney website but i i hesitated for like a day and then boom they were gone so i got really lucky and i saw them there at uh the disney store in downtown disney the my only negative i would give these is that they are a little heavy so they might like be prone to fall off because of i think the more plasticky nature of them but they are super super cute i'll even here i'll put them on for you guys why not no i did not take the tags off but i really should have so that i could have worn them while i was over there but i did not yeah look at them they're still pretty cute i'm such a sucker for food based uh mickey ears and that is pretty prevalent in the second pair that i got which are these beignet ears so yeah they look like the mickey beignets dusted with uh, sugar that they quite literally sell in uh, New Orleans Square in Disneyland. Uh, yeah, so very much, <laughs> much lighter weight than the trail ears. Like there's a significant weight difference, even though they aesthetically look very similar, especially with that white sparkly bow. And then on the back, it does say beignet all day. I don't know what that means, but take that what you will. These are made by Loungefly. I found that out after buying them. So that could have something to do with the, the different weight quality of these. Again, super, super cute. And I will be wearing them for the rest of this video and take care. <laughs> and then <laughs> another thing that I got myself was this orange, bright orange, mind you, Disneyland shirt. Uh, let me take this sticker off. So this is probably like one of the first signs of Halloween at Disneyland and I, I am a lover of Halloween. So yeah, bright orange. It has like the candy corn colors behind the Disneyland logo with a little witch hat on the D. I thought it was very simple, very cute. I, I do not have much like orange Halloween things. I always have black and white stuff. And so I thought that maybe this might be a nice like festive thing, especially for a future Disney trip I might be taking. Just a little hint hint. And then the last thing I bought for myself, I saw this online the week before we ended up going to Disneyland. And I, as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to get it. And it was quite literally the first thing that I did when I got there was the spirit jersey. I also have quite a few spirit jerseys, but I don't have as many as ears because they're like $80 now. So I picked them very sparingly. And so these ones are black with the vertical white stripes on the, the second half of it. And then it has the little Jack and Sally on the front in the shape of a heart. So, so cute. I love them too. And then the back, it quite simply just has the Nightmare Before Christmas Tim Burton title on the back. Very simple. And I love that. I love the movie and the ride is also great. 
and I'm a lover of black and white, so I I had to get it. This is a very rare occurrence. Usually I don't buy this many cakes at Disney, but I, I just had to. What we ended up buying for my husband, he is he's just like always just gets new shirts. And so he saw this one, which is like this really cool like tie-dye-ish te texture shirt. It's not actually tie-dye because the material of the shirt is very different. But yeah, it has the Indiana Jones logo, just Indiana Jones, no movie, no ride specific. With I, I also love the little detail of the Indiana Jones on the tag as well. Yeah, very good. Not that most breathable of material, I just mind you, but very nice. I really like that. And then another thing that he saw that he got very excited when he saw is this uh, Greetings from a Galaxy Far Far Away shirt. It's like this like reddish, orangey, brown color. And yeah, we went to multiple stores trying to find it in his size because he is a uh, men's medium, so it's kind of hard to find a men's medium. And so yeah, again, he's a huge lover of all things Star Wars. So, so many Star Wars things in this house. And then we ended up buying for our baby girl, Marceline. Well, for, okay, we saw this and we knew that her, like, either sets of grandparents would so have bought this for her despite her being quite literally a baby and not being within the age range for this so that's why it's still in the box and they haven't opened it yet but they came out with these like barbie dolls that they're like these girls oh here i'll show you the back so you get a good idea yeah they're all these girls and they all are have like little outfits dedicated to different disney characters and they're all like going to disneyland so they all have sets of ears they have like merch and like maybe a snack or two that you could get in the park and we thought these were so cute so cool so yeah i got this one which i think looks closest to me and marceline out of all the the girls that were dolls and funny enough she actually has her outfit is themed to tiana and one of marceline's favorite little like teething toys is like a little barbie doll like bath toy that's in the shape of tiana specifically i'm not sure if she loves like just like tiana herself or maybe she like really loves the color green and that's how she she gravitates towards her so i thought that was pretty accurate but we got her an outfit the doll an outfit and it's the haunted mansion outfit so okay well, let, me, let me show you the back so you get to see so it's quite literally the doll we got her as well and so this is what the outfit would look like on her and it has yeah like an ear two tops a skirt some nice long socks and then the shoes and like the madame leota like purse and a necklace like all the little accessories and she the doll's gonna look so so cute when it's all put together but i have no idea when we'll put it together maybe it might be one of those things where when my mother-in-law comes over she'll put together the little doll and play with her specifically so that you know the little pieces she's like being watched while she like plays with it so that she doesn't accidentally eat something yeah so that's everything my husband and i got for us and for for our baby on this Disney trip. Again, this is like a much bigger haul than we usually do. Uh, that's why I really wanted to, to show you guys and I put it at the end of this video. Yeah, so um, make sure to like this video if you like Disneyland, like theme park content. Uh, my husband and I love Disneyland so much, so we're gonna keep on going. We already have a trip planned with Marceline in the future, like it's booked and everything. And I'm so, so excited to go. It is very soon. So be sure to subscribe and to be ready for that when it does come out. Because I'll, I'll definitely be vlogging like our whole interaction with her at Disneyland because I'm so, so excited to take her. I love Disneyland so, so much. And so is my husband. Oh my gosh, I just can't wait. Okay, so yeah, that's the end of this video and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.